Dumb? Here we go. There it goes. Okay. Good. Now we got it. <laughs> First video. So, um, I don't know how to start. This is actually the first vlog sort of thing that I'm doing. <laughs> so, I'm Kathy Royals, and this is my rescue leopard gecko, Jag. Um, I rescued him. Well, actually, here's his story, okay? My mom works in a vet clinic with exotics and whatnot. He came in with pneumonia, and the owner wasn't going to deal with the injections and the syringe feeding and all this extra stuff that had to be done. So, gave him up and I took him in. So, I got him March 4th and he has definitely improved since he came in. He's recovered from his pneumonia. He pulled his tail not too long ago because of getting poked all the time with needles, trying to draw blood, and it didn't work out too well, did it, bud? See? So, this is after uh, having shed once already, and it looks really good. Um, when I got him, when he came, he had stuck shed all on his toes, and he didn't have any humidity control, so we gave him that instead. So now he's got a fogger, he's got a humidity box, which is what they need. But he's also not eating, so I'm going to do a little soak on him. I'm going to give him a soak in some warm water, and then we're going to syringe feed him. And that's what, um, what I, I was told to do for him. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. So I use this uh, plastic dog dish as his bathing thing, but we got to go out to the kitchen, so we're going to go ahead and do that. He does not like being washed. <laughs> he doesn't like being in the water. It stresses them out. Hey, the recording stopped. <laughs> okay. So, because I don't have the right equipment to measure water temperature and whatnot, I base I, I base it on what I can handle, which is not that hot. Basically, bath water is what I can handle, so I apologize for the noise. It's going to be loud until I can get this water. There we go. Now it's warming up. <laughs> get a little too impatient of doing this. So, um, he should have a heat mat in his cage to help with digestion, but because I don't have that, I have to use warm water instead. And he absolutely hates when I do this, so. We might hear angry squeaking. The water should not go over their shoulders. I know, bud. Come on. Yep, oh, angry squeaking. Angry squeaking. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, calm down. Calm, calm. Okay, calm yourself. <laughs> so, water does actually stress them out, but he needs this to help get get everything going and digested. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to mix up his carnivore care. And this is to syringe feed him because he's not eating. So. Okay, so here we have carnivore care. This is something that they use for creatures that are carnivorous. So this was given by the vet clinic that my mom works at. And it's basically just dehydrated, frozen dried meat powder. I can't open it, why can I not? There we go, okay. So it's just a powder. Let me take just a little bit way too much. So, it's just a powder. You can see that. And we add just a tad of warm water. So it's kind of like a soupy, watery consistency. I'm going to add a little too much water here. Which obviously, it's 
he, I use a small syringe, which my mom gets from work all the time. So this is the syringe. It's a little difficult to work with, but I make it work. So he gets two full syringes of this when I do syringe feed him. Just so he gets that, the needed amount. I need to add more powder to this. I didn't put enough. And that's the downside to it. It's not perfect, but you do what you can. That's probably way too much power now, but whatever. It has to be enough where, you know, it's liquid and it can go in the syringe, but not too mushy. There we go. So I let him soak in his bath while I do this. He should be in it for like 10 minutes because that's when the water starts to get cold, which is not good for them. So normally I just check it, check it by temperature. It's still pretty warm. So he'll soak in that for a few minutes. And while he's doing that, I get the syringe full with his stuff. I don't know why this syringe is so difficult to work with, but it's the smallest we have. I didn't put enough water in there. I hope that's enough. Okay. So that's about 30 milliliters, I think. No, 0 0.3 milliliters. Something like that. I don't know. He gets two full syringes of this when I do it. So he can soak right after. Watch out. So I do this. He likes to pee on me when I restrain him. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do that now. Let him drift. So, when I do this, he absolutely does not like it, and he struggles quite a bit. Alright. I know, bud, I know. I know. I know. Can you hear the squeaking? <laughs> Maybe. Alright. Open your face. Yeah, sometimes he'll just bite right down onto it, and I can squeeze in enough in there. Okay, relax. He doesn't like it, but he needs it because he's not eating. So, leopard geckos, they eat live food, but all he was getting at his previous owner was wax worms. And now he doesn't want to eat wax worms, which honestly, I don't blame him. It could be a psychological thing to where it's, he's just reminded of a bad past, and I can't blame him for that. So, I know, bud. I know. Okay, come on. Work in here. There we go. Open. Open. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. There we go. Oh, that's okay. So, I gave him a break in between syringes so he can, he can relax a little bit. Don't wipe your face on the melon. Goof. So, I have no idea how old he actually is. All I know is he is an adult. That's how he came to me. But it's a good possibility that he's at least a year old. I don't have enough for the full syringe so you can get half. Just from the medical from the medical records that I have of him, for the first year, he was given wax worms, dusted in calcium powder every once in a while, and it should be every time you feed them so they have enough calcium. But he's... He's still not doing all that great, but we're making progress. Last little bit. Come on, bud. Come on. Stop wiggling. Stop your wiggling. I don't know if you're going to hear the squeaking, but they squeak when they're mad. It's an interesting sound. I know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Open your mouth. So, I try and kind of push it in on the side, try and get him to, oh, now you're going to close up your mouth? Come on, open your mouth, thank you. There you go. If I can get his mouth open just a little bit, sometimes they get a little messy, but then they like to lick their faces all the time, it's a gecko thing, apparently, so, come on, come on, I know, I know, last little bit, come on, come on. You are really wiggling today. Come on, just a little more. A little more. Okay. 
Come on. Just a little bit more. Oh. There you go. Right, hold some of it getting on the syringe. If I can get at least something in his belly, that's better than nothing. I mean, he's already overweight as it is, so. There we go. And now we'd be an angry boy. Soak for a little longer. Water should still be warm. Yeah. 